guys, James here today and welcome to another speed build video. This is my first houseboat. Well, technically second because the first one I built was during the Let's Play and that wasn't, there was no effort put into that. Um, there's slightly more effort put into this one if I do say so myself. Now, first things you'll probably notice as this house begins to develop, it is largely based off of the previous speed build, which was Blueboard. Uh, and the reason I did that is because when I first did that house, it was basically more or less a design for a houseboat. Uh, so I, I kind of carried that over. I had to change up the roof though, because it, this house has a flat roof. Um, so you can go up on the roof and have your outside uh, area, entertaining spaces and all that kind of stuff. Especially because the rooms in the house are quite small because it's, it's a tiny little, little wee houseboat. So... The room on the roof definitely helps out with that. Uh, so right now I'm just doing the basics. Uh, I thought I might as well do a fence all the way around. It seems like the safe and responsible thing to do. <laughs> the fence off the houseboat down the bottom and keep your sim safe. So this is on the largest curved hull houseboat. Uh, as you can see, obviously the front of the the bow is curved, whereas the other ones are barges. You can get a really big barge, like 20 by 15, maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. You can get really big barges. Um, but this one, I, I wanted to go with a curved one because it's more fancy, it looks nicer. And that's what we've done. It's also a lot more expensive, mind you. I think this house ends up being like 60000 or something. Or something like that. So here I'm, I'm trying to figure out the roof because I, I wanted to make it look like blue ball, but it wasn't going to happen uh, just simply because of the fact the roof wasn't going to be the same because I needed the roof to put the um, the steering wheel on or the, what, what do you call on a boat? I can't remember. Um... Is this, I don't know. I think it has a special name. I forgot. But anyways, yeah, so I had to leave roof on the room for that. So I designed it a slightly differently than um, I kind of wanted to. But I think it still turned out really nicely. Uh, the color scheme is pretty interesting too. It's got like, it's like white, red, and black or dark gray on the exterior. And I think it looks pretty damn cool. And that roof I put on there is a new one that came in Island Paradise. And it worked pretty well. So I was happy with that. And I had to readjust all of these little columns here because they were misplaced, unfortunately. Um, and also this video, by the way, in case you haven't already noticed, is actually slower than my other speed builds. Like this one's only going at four times speed, whereas they usually go at eight. And that's simply because this video was a lot shorter uh, because it's a smaller lot. So I was able to make it a bit slower. And I think that's good in a sense because it allows you to see it a little better than you would if it was going four times faster than it is now. Uh, so I think it's um, it's a nice little speed and it works pretty well. Uh, so yeah, we've basically got, got the exterior design done. That's pretty much how it ends up. Uh, now I'm just going into picking colors. Uh, I originally made this completely red, this section here, but then that changes because I figured that was a little, a little too much. Uh, it was a little too much in your face. I mean, there's a good amount of in your face and then there's a bad amount of in your face. Um, so I, I changed the color of the houseboat hull here to reflect uh, upon the house as well and make it match all quite nicely. I think it turns out quite elegantly because uh, it uses the siding and siding in itself isn't an elegant material. But I think the way in which I've used it in combination with the color of the hull and the roofing that was used and the fences, it creates a really elegant sort of sophisticated look to the houseboat that might not otherwise be achieved if you didn't have the matching sort of color scheme. And and then the inside is obviously lighter. It isn't dark gray. It's got white walls on the inside, like white siding walls on the inside, because I felt that was, that was very boaty, I guess. <laughs> so here we go. Here's where I'm changing the color of the siding. I'm just inverting the color, basically, turning the white to the red and the red to the white. Um, and I'm just doing the other, the secondary color, because I think I only used the two wallpapers. Uh, so I use a, a gray on this wood sort of vertical wood paneling, which I think looks quite nice and not that dark. There we go. That's the color there pretty much that goes around the whole house. And then I break it up with the white siding wall. And I think it looks quite nice, especially when the windows go in and all the furniture, and you can see the furniture through the windows. I think when it's fully decorated, it definitely pulls off a very nice look. Now, this, this is my first time building a proper house on a houseboat. And let me tell you, there are definitely some things you got to overcome. I got to, I got to learn how to, I guess, make a good place for the command console, which is where your Sims will control the houseboat. So, cause at the moment I just keep doing them on the roof. Uh, but I guess you could also do, you could even do like a little cockpit or something, a little cockpit room, you know, uh, that could be pretty interesting. I might try something like that on a larger barge. 
in a larger houseboat or something like that. I think that could be pretty cool, but so far I've only built two houseboats, the one you saw in the Let's Play, if you saw it, and the one you see here. So this is my second one, and I think it went pretty well. Uh, it was definitely a battle to like deal with room size, because this, this is the largest curved uh, houseboat hull which I already said. Uh, so this is like the largest one you can get in the curved shape. So And it's still really small. So it's really hard to sort of get the sizes right and get everything to fit in quite nicely. It ends up being a two bedroom, one bathroom house. Of course, you could put in another all in one bathroom somewhere. I didn't I didn't use it all in one bathroom, but you could. Uh, so you could you get more space that way. I felt like it was more necessary to do a full bathroom, not just an all in one. I thought it was a little, a little classier to do it that way. Uh, I was going to do a canopy on the roof, like you can see I'm doing here, but in the end I decided not to because it, 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 I don't think it fits with the house at all. It, it just makes it look too tall and not so nice. <laughs> so in the end we get rid of that and we're like, no, we'll just leave that away. Uh, yeah, so basically it... It's a little small on the side. Like, the downstairs, I think, works fine. It's a kitchen, dining, and living area. Then the upstairs... The, there is a little problem with the upstairs. I'm going to level with you. Uh, the double bedroom isn't really a double bedroom. I put a double bed in there, but it doesn't work. And I, I know it doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> but I put it in there just because it looked nice. Uh, so, in all reality, it, there was no point putting it in. So, as soon as you... If you download this houseboat, delete the double bed. It's not going to work. You're going to need to do two single beds or, like I said before, you can remove the bathroom and put them all in one bathroom and then fit a bigger bedroom that way. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> you might have a little problem with the double bed. That's just a little heads up. So, like, I know it doesn't work, but it, it looked good. And I, look, I was looking at this basement because you can do a basement on houseboats and the basement is definitely taller than the height of the hull. <laughs> so there's no way it could fit inside the hull of the ship, uh, of the houseboat. So look, I don't know, it was ridiculous. So here we go, those are the two bedrooms there. They're both pretty much, I think they're identical sizes, the bedrooms. And that's why a double bed couldn't fit in in the end. So so yeah, I was, I was thinking of doing a basement. As you did see, I was playing around with it. And that's where I was going to do a double bedroom or like a laundry or something. <laughs> that would be typical, have a laundry in the hull of the ship. That could be pretty interesting. Uh, but you can definitely do, if you want more space, you can definitely do a basement in this house uh, and just put a ladder, put a ladder. That will only take up one by one square. You can put a ladder down there and then you have all the space down the bottom as well to do whatever you want. You can have more bedrooms. You can add a proper double bedroom, turn the other one upstairs into a single. Uh, you do whatever you want down there, basically. So it's a nice little space to play with. Um, which is pretty good. So here we're moving on to the kitchen. This is obviously kitchen diner area right here. And behind it, down the bottom where the spiral stairs are, that is going to be the main living room. Uh, and the only reason I did spiral stairs as well, uh, as opposed to using ladders, for one, I keep using the term classy. Uh, spiral stairs are definitely more classy than a ladder in your living room. Uh, <laughs> so that's, that's one reason. And the other reason is, well, kind of the same, but it just looks better to have a spiral staircase rather than a ladder, especially in this house, because the style this house is going for isn't bargain basement houseboat starter kit. It is a proper, like, family houseboat um, with two bedrooms, one bathroom, proper living room, proper kitchen. It is not... It is not some little shack, a little shed on a floating on a barge, basically, which is why I wanted to do proper stairs and not just a ladder. Um, of course, this is a very small boat, as I've said before, many, many times. So I guess it's a bit of a compromise to use those stairs, but it worked. Hey, I think it because it, it works with the style I'm going for in this house. And I'm happy with it. Um, but I'll definitely, in the future, definitely try out bigger houseboats because you can get a much bigger barge. Like like I said before, I think it's it's either 20 by 15 or 20 by 18 or something along those lines. So that's actually very big for a houseboat. And that's more or less along the lines of the size of houses I build regularly. So you could build a proper full-on house on there. Um, so I'll definitely give that a try in the future. Um, probably... I definitely want to try the idea I suggested before, which was uh, have a little uh, a little bridge. That's what it's called, because I called it cockpit before, but I meant to say bridge. Uh, like a bridge or like where the captain goes. That would be really cool to have that in your house, but I think a dedicated room to that. So here's a little living room. The TV sits underneath the spiral staircases. Uh, and then I have a little pot of plant there and a light and an end, a couple of end tables around the place so you can put stuff on. Uh, and it it goes all right. We're getting in some wall lights now to finish off the lighting up the houseboat because it was a bit dark with just the couple of lights. So we put in some of those. 
getting a nice rug in the living space was actually kind of hard. I used that one in the end because it was a smaller one that seemed to fit a little better than any of the other big ones. And this is where I chuck in a couple of end tables uh, so you can put your knickknacks and paddy wax all over them and fill up your houseboat with everything that reflects your personality. Oh, I put in that little red and white lifesaver there and these paddles in the kitchen. Uh, perfect, perfect um, scenery for, or perfect decoration for a houseboat, you know? Got to have the little lifesaver on the wall and those rowboat paddles. And oh, there's a little rope there on the I just put in the kitchen wall there as well. <laughs> little coiled up rope that you can not use, but you can look at. <laughs> so here's a, here's a, by the entranceway here, I'd just do a mirror and a little side table. And I think I put a potted plant on it or something, something along those lines is about it is what I do down here. And then I think the downstairs is finished. Then we move on to the upstairs any minute now. And we start doing the bedrooms. Um, actually, I can't remember if we do the bedrooms first or something else. I don't. I don't know, because the little area there where the stairs come up turns into a little study, has like a little computer desk, and um, that's where they can do all their bits and bobs. Uh, also, with these spiral stairs, where I put the door here, you can see I'm putting the door right in front of the stairs. My sim, it was weird. He he was up, he was on this level, uh, he's on the bedroom level here, and he wasn't able to go down. But I took him upstairs and then back downstairs, and then he was able to go down. So I don't know. Um, that's just a little, another little heads up. They might get stuck once or twice, but just take them up and down and they'll be fine. Uh, I don't know. It was weird. But I guess that's one of the problems with using the spiral stairs. If you want, it might be a better idea to change them to a ladder. Uh, but these do work. The spiral stairs do work fine. Um, but you might want to change them to a ladder if that suits you a little better. And you, could you see there's the bathroom there. It's a two by three bathroom. And this is where I'm trying to figure out how I can fit in a double bed. And it just wasn't possible to fit in a double bed there without removing the bathroom. And I wanted the bathroom, so we kept it. Um, so essentially, you've got two single bedrooms. Uh, one of them I put a bunk bed in. Um, and the other one is the double bed, which it doesn't work. I apologize, but you have to deal with it. Uh, I was going to do a bathtub slash shower, but... It wouldn't fit. <laughs> I wouldn't fit because I needed a toilet and a sink in there as well. It wasn't going to happen. So I scratched that idea. I put a shower and a regular sink in there and it was fine. I mean, if you if you really want to have a shower, just go to a community lot. <laughs> go to a gym and have a shower there. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, anyway, there's a proper shower in there. So there's no need to worry about that. Uh, so... Yeah, we're just doing a little bathroom here. We've got a little tissue box and a toilet roll, and we got to put an, hanging up a towel on the wall there as well for little decora de decorative items. That was a weird way to say it. Uh, anyways, and here's a little computer area I was telling you about with the desk. It's a wheelie chair there would be very dangerous, by the way, because <laughs> you could fall down, you could wheel over the edge and roll down the stairs. So be careful of that when you're using the computer. Um, Got a little balcony out the front. We do a little recliner and it is the recliner is 100% usable um, and they can get out there just fine and lie down on it. So that's good to know. It's a nice little spot for them to sit and relax, read a book, maybe. I don't know. Just enjoy this open water and the beautiful seclusion. I don't know why that took me so long to say. Um, anyways, so yeah, here we go. I think we're doing the bedrooms now double bedroom yeah those see i was trying to that's like i put it in there and the bedroom's physically not big enough so i do that i did initially hope that it would work like that but then i tested it and it just didn't want to work at all it just wasn't happening um you might be able to put it on the other side of the room but it would require moving removing the door to the balcony uh, I guess you can play around with the room a little. The dresser is fully usable. It's just the bed is not usable at all. <laughs> so that's a little little bit of a problem. But um, it's, not, it's, it's actually not too bad. It's pretty easy to fix. Uh, just put a couple of singles in there. You'll be fine. And here's uh, the little bedroom. Three by three. I do a bunk bed. Uh, chuck it in there. Squish it in. Nowhere else to put it. So it has to go against the big windows. At least they get a nice view out of their bed, so that's good to know. I guess you won't be spending much time in your bed, though, if you're on a houseboat. Uh, go in the water, go to resorts, have a fun time. And uh, they get a little dresser, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> they get a dresser and I think a mirror, possibly. I think I, put, I tried to put one above, but it didn't really work. They kept getting cut off by the drawers, so I put, I put one next to the beds. Uh, I think, or oh, next to the door is where I put it. So it just slots in right there. There you go. Uh, do a little rug in their room to finish it off, and then we do some 
deck furniture. So out the back here for them, they get two little seats and a potted plant. You could do other stuff out there. You could do like a telescope. You could do an easel. You could do a lot of stuff out there. There's plenty of space. And out here they get a, a two-seater bench for the the adults of the parents of the family. So they can have a naughty little time. Um, and here we go. We're going up to the top deck now. Ping pong table. I thought that would be a bit of fun. Uh, a barbecue. And there's a dining table, and then there's finally another lounge on the other side. Just really simple stuff. And, of course, this this space up the top is really, really flexible, so you can do a lot of stuff up there, do whatever you wanted. Um, so, yeah. We're just about to jump into the screenshots any second now. And three, two, one. Oh, perfect timing. There you go. There's the front of the houseboat there, and we'll get a lower angle shot in just a second as well. There you go. That is a picture of it attacking the sea. It's still at the port, though, so it's not really going anywhere. There's a picture of the back where you get on of the get on of the houseboat. They, that's how you, anyways. You know what I mean? There is the living room there. Uh, you got your little lifesaver on the wall, the spiral staircase there. Here's one shot of the kitchen from this angle, and you can see where it goes to the entrance. Here's the, another angle. We got the fridge and the dining table and all the kitchen bits and bobs. Uh, here is a little study room upstairs uh, and next shot is of the bedroom with an unusable double bed I apologize once more for that <laughs> uh, and here's the top and then we're going to be going into the floor plan screenshots that are completely off center <laughs> look at that that's horrible anyways guys thank you for watching this a speed build video of my first houseboat I hope you decide to stay around and check out some more Island Paradise videos I've got plenty coming today and tomorrow so stick around and I'll see you next time thanks for watching